Hi, I'm George with Blackbird Realty, and today we're here at one of the properties we're going to start managing. I'm here with Caroline Moriarty, one of our property managers, and Mark Lister, another one of our fine property managers. And we're going to evaluate this house, make it most rentable, and also to examine it for risks. Let's go. So Mark, tell me a little bit about the house. How, how many square feet is it? It's about a 4,100 square feet. It's a five bedroom house. What do you normally do when you first take the property over? Well, we want to assess what we need to do, uh, risk assessment and also what the, uh, what's going to be required to get it rental ready condition so we can get it on the market. So, uh, we, you know, we want to first check the paint. Do we need a paint job or can we get by with maybe just a touch up? In this case, the paint's pretty good shape. We're just going to get it a little bit touched up. Plus, as you can see, there's no blinds behind us. So we're going to get a bid on that to put blinds in those windows. So we're in the kitchen of the house that we're taking over and Caroline's going to explain what she does. Caroline? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an inventory of all the amenities in the kitchen. There's a lot of great things in this kitchen, like the stove top over there, the custom cabinets. We've got stainless steel appliances. And another thing that I'm going to make sure that we do is get the serial numbers off of all of our appliances. So in case they would in case go missing or get stolen, we have all that information to turn in. So we're here in the backyard of our property and we've got a sandbox here that could create some possible problems becoming a giant litter box for neighborhood cats if there's any out here. Probably would be a good idea to seal this wood rim around it so that kids aren't prone to get slivers sitting in there. In this case here, the owner's actually open to our suggestion, so if we say that uh, we need to, to have that removed, they'll, they'll listen to us. Well, there's a unique feature. This is actually real fake grass. The problem with this is, is that it gets very hot in the summertime, but the owner added some sprinklers, so they can actually water the fake grass to keep it cool. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a really good idea. Other area when you take over a property to examine is the air conditioning equipment. Make sure that it's still here. And Mark's going to tell you about that and how expensive it is. If they get back here and they steal the air conditioners, it's very expensive. It can cost the owner for two to, to four, five thousand dollars per uh, per unit. So one of the things we can do is get a bid to put a cage around that and keep that from happening. The other thing we want to look at also is the insulation around the return lines. Check that, make sure those are in good condition as well. So we're in the master bedroom, which has a retreat and a large closet. Caroline's found a couple of things in here that she thinks needs to be done. So uh, what do you think, Caroline? I think for this room, it is in pretty good shape. However, there are some spots on the baseboards that definitely need touch-up paint. So I think for this room, all we would really need is a touch-up paint on the baseboards, a couple spots on the walls, as well as making sure the carpets are cleaned. We're in the master bathroom of the uh, property. We, uh, do a risk assessment here, as well as a cosmetic painting assessment. And the most important thing that we have here, Mark is gonna tell you about. One of the things we wanna look at is the angle stops. Check and make sure that it has the right kind of supply lines. If it's the wrong ones, if they fail, and then we have a massive flood. The other thing we will look at is the bathtubs and the showers, make sure that we have the proper caulking. A lot of the stuff that you do when you check a house has got to do with angle stops underneath the sink, light bulbs that work or don't work, but uh, sometimes there's big things that people miss and Mark's going to tell us about that. We have a staircase here, so we want to just check the staircases to make sure that they're secure. The other thing too is on the stairs themselves, we want to make sure there's not a tripping hazard. But also we're looking at the features of the house and one of the features that this house has is big cathedral ceilings and this one has crown molding. One of the features we have here is an in-ground electrical supply. It means that you could put a lamp here, a little table here. Um, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. We're in the uh, garage of our property we're taking over and uh, Caroline's going to talk to us about what she always looks for when she inspects this area of the home. Caroline? Yeah, you would think checking your garage, there wouldn't be too much to check, but there actually is. We want to make sure we look at the floors and see if there's any excessive oil stains. It could be a slip hazard and also it doesn't show very well when it looks dirty like that. This property has a water conditioning system, so I want to make sure that I make a note if it takes pellets, what brand, as well as any contact information for this system. Another thing I'm going to check is the water heater. I want to check to see if it's gas or electric. I want to know how many gallons are inside, so that way if there's ever an issue, I have that information on hand to get a quote when I send my plumber out. Another thing I'm looking for are the earthquake straps as well as the drip pan. Another feature in this garage, I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but it's got this bump 
barriers. So people who pull the car too far won't damage their bumper because this is styrofoam. This is really nice. That's a great idea. Okay, well that's the uh, end of our evaluation. All we have left to do now is to lock up the house uh, and get those bids submitted and get it on the market. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or you'd like us to manage your property, remember to give us a call. George, Mark, Caroline at Blackbird Realty. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.